Well, one family's heartbreaking loss is a poignant reminder of the human cost of this entire crisis. Yeah, so tragic here. We're talking about a talented young athlete who died of a fentanyl overdose just a few days ago. Now to our Ken Body here now with the story of a young man whose life ended because of fentanyl. Also, Ken, the ripple effect his death is having on so many people. Yeah, it's having a big ripple effect already. His name was Sam Carlin. He was just 24 years old. We learned about Sam's overdose and death in an emotional Facebook post by one of his former coaches and mentors. Sam Carlin's nickname on the basketball court was Nightmare because he was a nightmare for opponents to deal with. From fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, um, he was a phenom. Like he came to, to the United States from Haiti as a 10 year old. And at the age of 12, he was one of the best kids in the state. David Lucas coached Sam Carlin at the ML20 Foundation, the Mentorship Academic and Athletic Academy started in honor of his late father, Maurice Lucas, power forward on the Blazers 77 championship team. David should have been celebrating his 42nd birthday this week, but he posted Sam's story on social media instead. And I just felt like in my heart, like it was my birthday and I'm, all I could think about was Sam, you know, the whole time. And I wanted to really make awareness of, of drugs and you know, it's it's a dangerous game. You know, you're basically throwing a dice, you know, every time you take a drug. And I've had a lot of people pass away um, in, the, in the last few years from fentanyl, from drug overdoses. It's anger and profound sadness. And I keep thinking, I just have so many memories of Sam, and that's what I want to hold on to. And it's just, it's very personal, and it's a tragedy. Marty and Manny Carlin adopted Sam from an orphanage in Haiti when Sam was just 10. They say he did struggle with mental health and drug addiction, and had just gotten out of prison when he was found unconscious on a MAX train. I'm pretty cynical, I'm afraid to say, but individually, we keep trying. We offer our services, we offer help. Keeping trying is what matters. I think Sam was the one that like really hit me hard, like 24 years old, super fit and athletic and had this addiction that he couldn't beat. And, um, you know, I, I think it's time to, to raise awareness even more. Well, Sam was an organ donor, and the only organ affected by this tragedy was his brain. So in his death, his other organs, including his heart, lungs, and liver, are giving life to others right now. And everything that was said in your piece from David, from Marty, um, and for, you know, they were all that we should lean in, don't give up. And as hopeless as you might feel, because David said he knew of many people who have died, mm -hmm. don't give up. You never know if you can help in some way and it could potentially save a life. And we hope that your story does that. Well, that's one of the reasons why David wanted to do this and why he posted on social media, because he wanted to raise awareness that this affects so many families yeah. and it has a real ripple effect across communities. Absolutely. Yeah. Ken, thank you. Ken, thank you.